Well, hello and welcome to another Facebook Friday. It's another Felici Friday and it's Valentine's Day, right? How do you, <laughs> I don't even know how to make, is that it, Val heart, Valentine's Day? Yeah. So yeah, hopefully everybody had a great week. I'm glad you can join us either now uh, live or watching later. And if this is your first time joining me on Facebook Live, just so you know, we do a couple of demonstrations. I do those at the end of the video. Um, so I know you love to hear me chat, but if you just wanna get right to the projects, just um, you know scroll ahead to the end of the video and check out the projects that we demonstrate. I also do a couple of giveaways too. Hey, Philomena, I'm glad you can join us. Um, so yeah, those will all be coming up in just a little bit. So yeah, thank you, thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey Nancy, how are you? I'm so glad you guys can join us. So let's see um, what has been going on. I always have to chit chat just for a couple minutes while people are popping on here. So um, <laughs> yes, happy Valentine's Day, Philomena. Um, what has been going on? We had dance competition last weekend. That was good. It was only a one day deal. So we were in and we were out. <laughs> oh, you're watching. <laughs> That's funny at your crossing. Yeah, Susie, hey, do you have um, a half day today also? I know my kids do. And I think they're gonna be um, busting on in here at some point. So thank you for the share too, Philomena. Uh, yeah, so yeah, dance competition was good last weekend. We've been playing lots of basketball. Um, the boys have been winning other than the one game, a couple, maybe it was, a, I don't even know, a Friday or two ago. Um, they have had a good run of it. So we have to travel. Hey, Tammy, we have to travel to Birch Run today. We're not shopping at the outlets. We're just going to the basketball game. Um, but yeah, that will be a good game. They were a tough team when they came played here in Alma, so it'll be a good game tonight. Um, and I don't know, let's see. Oh, actually, yes. Um, <laughs> yes, half day for you. Yay, I know my kids were super excited. Plus it's really sunny and beautiful out. So, and we're gonna get the glare. I know it's gonna happen. I can already see it like up in the ceiling over there right now. So, well, I'm sure I'll be dragging my table around as usual, but you know, it's all part of Facebook Live, right? Um, oh, I know what I was starting to say was next weekend, um, we've never done this before. We are doing a dance competition in the Chicago area, so like suburb outside of Chicago. So we are um, taking Friday off and all um, caravanning, traveling um, to Chicago for this dance competition. So we're leaving earlier in the day, so I won't be having Facebook Live next Friday. So just so you guys know that, we'll skip a week. So today is obviously February 14th. We will skip next Friday the 21st, and then I'll be back um, to the lives on the end, not even the last day of the month this, this February, right? Because we have 29 days in February, but I'll be back on February 28th for our next Facebook Live. So hey, Amy Jo, thank you for joining us. Um, so yeah, let's see what else. Um, you know, why don't we jump right in? Because I actually have class at the stamp studio this afternoon, and I'm gonna try to make sure that I get everything all done and kind of wrapped up here and can get down um, to the studio for the simple, beautiful card class. And if you've never joined us, I'd love to have you. If you're local, hey Sally, love to have you um, join us at the stamp studio for the simple, beautiful card class. It is generally the second Wednesday of every month and then two days later on Friday afternoon. I have have a feeling next month I'm gonna to have to change things up though um, I'm still working out the details um, <clears throat> because basketball <laughs> will be like messing with my calendar and I can't miss anything hey Mary Ellen how are you I'm glad you can join us thank you thank you so I will keep you guys posted about next month's simple beautiful card class um, because they'll be playing like the district play, I think the week that we would normally have class, so I think I'm gonna move it to the next week. I believe I will be moving it actually to Thursday, March 19th, because I don't think um, even if they make it to regionals, I think that's a Monday and Wednesday kind of a situation. So if I move it to Thursday, I should be safe. So, but as that gets closer to time, I'll let you know for sure. So yeah, um, okay, let's do, yeah, we're gonna jump in, we're gonna do our first drawing. So this drawing is for sharing the Facebook Live video and signing up for my email list, okay? So this week we are giving away, this is the Coastal Weave Embossing Folder. Super cool embossing folder. Let me see if I can find, because it's, you know, that picture on the um, product doesn't really give it justice, uh, or do it justice, I guess I should say. But if you look in our spring mini catalog, uh, this is on page 38. Sandy, hello, how are you? Okay, can I hold this up and still point at it? It's this, um, Calypso Coral. I'm sorry, I'm trying to like eh, 
So this card right here, you can really see that coastal. Okay, let me just zoom right in, make sure I can see. Yeah, okay, now you guys can see. So that's what the coastal weave embossing folder looks like. Sorry, it's, it's a little bit wiggly there. Anyway, it's an awesome embossing folder. Been having fun playing with that. If you don't have it yet, it's a great one to have in your embossing folder repertoire, right? Okay, so if you shared the Facebook Live video, uh, anytime between last Friday as Facebook Live was happening and um, last night at about 10 o'clock, uh, your name is in the drawing or if you're new and sign up for my email list if you haven't done that yet. Signing up for my email list is the best way to stay informed about everything that is going on locally at the stamp studio, um, online, um, events that I, you know, things that I do um, online, and then also promotions and stuff going on with Stampin' Up. I try to email about all of that stuff. I know it can seem like a lot of email, but there's always a lot going on, and I don't want you guys to not know what's going on. So just do a quick peek at the email. If you're not interested, just delete it. If it's something that you're interested in, take a peek. I will tell you, I put pictures in almost all of my email, so if nothing else, you get like a fun card or scrapbook page idea in your email too. So, hey Liz, how are you? So, okay, so in here we have everybody's name that shared the video as many times as you share it. That is so awesome when you share the video. I truly appreciate that because it's great for business, being a small business owner, right? I have to do all my own advertising and marketing and I'm really not a good advertising and marketing person. That is just not my forte. Uh, so yeah, if you guys can help me out with that, it's greatly, greatly appreciated. It helps me reach lots more people and that is good for business, right? Okay, so here we go. We are gonna shake the names around in here. You guys did a really good job sharing too. I think this was about as many shares as I've ever had on a video. So thank you, you guys are listening. I appreciate that so much and helping me out. So thank you, thank you. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna, I always get like five little pieces of paper in my hand and I have to whittle it down to one. Oh, and then I dropped it. Okay, I have one in my hand and it goes to, ah, Miss Sunday Ostrander. That's fun, so Sunday is gonna be down at the Stamp Studio at one o'clock. So Sunday, I will bring this right down to you and you are the proud new winner of the Coastal Weave Embossing Folder. And thank you for your share, Miss Sunday. Uh, okay, oops, I forgot to bring the little tub to dump those out in. Okay, so we've got that. Now, do you guys wanna know? <laughs> Sally, you're too late, me, 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 please. Last time, right? I think you won last week. So if you haven't picked up your, um, uh, what were those? The champagne rhinestones. Those are down at the studio for you. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> so glad you guys can join me. Um, and my puppy. Oh, I was going to. Hey, buddy. Can you come here? Stormy just got a haircut and I think he's so cute. Come here. Come here. We're going to we're gonna have Stormy say hi because I don't know if it's going to. He's been wearing it for a little while, but okay. So <laughs> Stormy, say hi. Here, hold on. Let's make sure your hair looks good. Yeah. Can you say hi? Yeah, you say hi, buddy. But the cutest part was this little scarf that they did. It's kind of like falling off of him a little bit. But it, it, he looked very dapper and dashing with his little his little scarf there. So anyway, I had to show you guys. He, you're just so cute right now. And he smells really good. <laughs> you know, dogs don't always smell the greatest. But right after they get groomed, they smell really good. So yeah, Mr. Stormy. And you're going to start barking. The kids are going to be here anytime now. Um, okay, <clears throat> so let's see. Oh, oh, I know. I was starting to tell you guys, hey, Sherilyn, how are you? Glad you can be here. <laughs> Thank you, Nikki. I think he's pretty cute, too. He is my snuggle bunny at night. He loves to, you know, how they do, like, snuggle up with you and then eventually, like, feel like they're going to take over the bed. I get up in the middle of the night and I'm like, wait a minute. My legs go there, not you. <laughs> so he gets moved back over into his spot then. So, okay. Um, yeah, so this is what we're going to give away on next Facebook Live, which is, again, going to be, uh, two weeks from today, so on February 28th, that Friday, we will be drawing four. These are the, these are gorgeous, the Peaceful Poppies Elements. I'm not even going to attempt to open them, though, because if I do, they're going to, like, go everywhere, and it'll be, like, a total mess. So you guys can kind of see, I feel like you can see a little bit better on the back side. Let me tell you about the colors <clears throat> that are in the Peaceful Poppies sequins pack. So, oh, and actually they are round and flower shaped sequins. You get 750 of them in a package, so you'll have lots and lots to play with. They come in black, clear, gold, dark poppy parade, and light poppy parade. And they give you, I don't know if you can see, but we'll try. So here they are in the catalog. You can see a whole sprinkle of them. And then super up close, you can see them there as well. All you have to do is just add 
I love using my uh, shimmery crystal effects. I think that is the best adhesive ever. Just put like a little dab and then grab your take your pick tool, pick up one of the sequins out of your container and pop it right on that little dab that you made. Um, and you can use fine tip glue. So fine tip glue pen is great. Um, um, or the shimmery crystal effects. I have tried um, mini glue dots and those are a little bit harder for me to use. So I prefer to have like a little sticky glue that you just put a dab somewhere and then um, put the sequin right on it. So anyway, you guys will have fun with the Peaceful Poppy sequins. Can you hear them? Peaceful Poppy sequins, all 750 of them. Your name will go in the drawing to, um, if you share the video or sign up for my email list. So I appreciate all of that from everyone too. So thank you guys for your shares and for signing up for my email list. Um, okay, you know, oh, here I am, I forgot. I was all excited about, sorry, I'm all over the place, about Valentine's Day. So I have to show you guys, <clears throat> you probably have seen these cute little heart tins. I don't know if you remember, I think I demonstrated basically this exact little project way back at like the very end of December, beginning of January. So anyway, you can kind of see we've got the cute little red doily. Hey, Monica, hello, and thank you for your share. And Teresa, hello, welcome. Um, anyway, so you've got, I love that stamp, from my heart to yours with a couple of the little um, punches. You got the scallop heart punch and then the straight, ed heart, straight edge heart punch. Don't look closely at my ribbon because I ran out of um, our real red ribbon that's available right now. So I have a little bit of red ribbon from my stash. Maybe if I hadn't even told you, you might not notice because it looks pretty similar, right? But the fun part, okay, I'm going to try to open this without hopefully sprinkles don't go everywhere. So what I put in here was, um, can you kind of, I'm going to just, yeah, just go like that, right? So what I did was I bought um, chocolate chip cookie dough, like the big, dough, chocolate chip cookie dough, the big log of it. And I just cut off pieces. And instead of, you know, making cookies, I put them in these little tins. This is like my favorite. It, this is like sugar overload, but I'm kind of a sugar overload kind of girl. So yeah, so I baked the chocolate chip cookies and then I put some frosting because <laughs> when I cook them, they are all puffed up and then I, I like them a little bit chewy. So then they sink down in. So there's a nice big mound of um, uh, frosting in there. And then I put some cute little heart. Can you guys see? their little hearts heart sprinkles in there and then we just oops oh I gotta get that little there we go those little I'm calling them sequins but the little sprinkles right and then you just put the lid right back on so super cute even my son was like those are pretty cool mom so he's kind of um chatting with a girl I'll say so I helped him kind of come up with a couple little ideas for his friend that he's supposed to be stopping by to pick up to take to her on their half day of school so okay yeah so um yeah i'm kind of yummy is right philomena um i'm hoping i have an extra one that maybe i'll just have to give to myself for valentine's day we'll see so yeah fun stuff but it's a fun day isn't it right valentine's day plus hopefully it's sunny where you guys are it's beautiful and sunny here so that always makes life better doesn't it so, okay. Um, oh, so actually I want to say a big welcome to my newest Inkspired Stamper, Miss Lori Cresswell just bought the starter kit this week. She took advantage of that amazing deal. You guys all know the deal, right? You get to pick $125 in product. You get another free stamp set, get the most expensive one you can. You get that super cute little mini paper trimmer that's going to go in your purse, right? You get um, a sampler of designer series paper. You get a paper pump kit you get like business supplies like if you need catalogs order forms all kinds of good stuff um i feel like i'm forgetting something i don't know what but you get all of that for 99 plus sales tax it is the most amazing deal if you are not sure about it like i don't know why you wouldn't want to get it honestly because then you get 20 percent off of all your orders after that if you have any questions if you're like reservations about not you know i don't like i said i don't know why you wouldn't want to get the awesome deal but if you have questions that you want to bounce off me i'm happy to answer those questions and i would love to welcome you into our inspired stampers team as well just like we are doing for miss Lori cresswell so congratulations Lori, on taking advantage of that awesome deal sally's saying she loves the paper trimmer and that she's using it last i know me too it's one of those that sits right on my um craft table and a lot of times you know when like well, for me, because I'm kind of anal, when I cut things and if something's like a little off the edge, I have to like, you know, grab my little paper trimmer. And now I can grab the little baby one instead of getting up, walking, you know, the three steps over to where my big paper trimmer is. So it's been very handy too. So, um, okay, let's do our other drawing. So I should mention, 
If you put in an online order, and hopefully you guys all know this, but just in case if I have new um, friends that are joining me, if you put in an online order last week, anytime from when I did Facebook Live to Wednesday at midnight, your name went in the drawing to win the awesome little ladybug stamp set. This is the cutest stamp set ever, right? All you had to do was spend at least $30 and use the host code. Your name is gonna go in the drawing for the little ladybug stamp set. You are for sure gonna get both of the projects that I demonstrated last week. So we made that beautiful card in the cute little treat box, right? And then if you bumped your order up to $50, you get either a bolt of the Petal Pink Metallic Edge Ribbon, or, oops, I grabbed way too many papers there, or the Demo Design Dream, Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And I have yet to actually print um, February's because I want to print it in color and I keep forgetting every time I'm at work is where I need to use the color printer. So don't tell anybody that. So yeah, anyway, so I'm showing you though. So you can pick either the tutorial or the ribbon if you bump your order up to $50. So it's an awesome time. Plus, you get a free celebration item too, which I'm gonna show you. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that too because I wanna make sure everybody is clear on celebration because I had some questions recently that made me think, you know what? I should probably um, make sure everybody understands how all that works, right? So, okay, so online orders that use the host code are in here. Um, nope, are they? Hold on, there's an extra one in here because I know exactly how many orders I had. So I have to make sure, because when I dumped them out, apparently I didn't dump all of them out okay so there we go all right so your name is in here if you put in the online order and use the host code last week so we're going to shake this around i only had a couple you guys the odds are so good of winning hey lori hello hello i'm glad you can join us so yeah i do not get that many online orders so you guys your odds are always really good of winning the drawing that i do and i think i always give away awesome stuff right so okay here we go Shaking this around, like I said, just a couple of names in here. Which one, which one, which one did I pick? We have Miss Vina Gomez. Congratulations, Vina. You are the proud new owner of the Little Ladybug stamp set. So you can only get this stamp set if you put a $300 order in, unless you just um, put your order in through me last week. All you had to do is spend $30, and Vina got the Little Ladybug stamp set, along with these projects that I demonstrated. So Vina, I will get this sent out to you. Congratulations. All right, hold on. I gotta keep myself organized here. Oops, I pulled all my chairs away from the table and now I'm like stacking everything up on the chairs so that it's not quite as crazy when I'm looking out at things here. So, okay, let's see. What else do you guys want to know? Yeah, let's talk about what we're gonna thank you for sharing. Good afternoon, Miss Becky. I know it is almost afternoon, isn't it? I'm not rushing things though. It says seven minutes till noon, so it's still morning in my <laughs> in my world. Um, okay, so this week, well, this week, um, basically, if you put an online order between now and Wednesday would be the 26th of February. So you're gonna have this whole, basically about the rest of the month. If you put an online order in of at least $30, use the host code I'm gonna give you in just a little bit when we flip the camera down. And it's always on my blog at Gathering Inc with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the awesome, this is the Peaceful Moments stamp set. And I already closed this up. Shoot, I meant to, I wanted to show you guys, cause it's part of, the Peaceful Poppies Suite, so that gorgeous, you guys have all sweet seen, right, this suite of products. So some of the stamps used on those projects use the Peaceful Moments. Did I say that? Peaceful Moments stamp set. So it's actually on page 27 of our spring mini catalog. So here, there you can see a bunch of the sentiments used on um, those projects there too. And I'm gonna to tell you, so we have sentiments that say, life is better with a friend like you. Awesome, right? You shouldn't have, but I'm glad you did. Congratulations, thinking of you with all my heart. That's awesome. These are the moments, excuse me, these are the moments we'll look back on with joy. That's going on a scrapbook page for sure. Always remember, oh, that's awesome too. Happy birthday with deepest, with deepest sympathy. I'm sorry, I get so excited. I can like, I get tongue tied. Thank you and wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. That'll be great for um, like a wedding card too. So awesome, very versatile set of sentiments 
in the Peaceful Moments stamp set. So put your online orders in, use the host code, and your name will go in the drawing next Facebook Live on February 28th to win the Peaceful Moments stamp set. Okay? All right, let's see. What else do I have to tell you guys about? Oh, all right. So this is what I was kind of referring to earlier that I had some questions that made me think. I want to make sure everybody knows about celebration. I hope that you do, but I was like, maybe I haven't been doing a good enough job showing you guys what you can get. So we're going to just do a quick review because there are more items coming. You can't get them yet. <laughs> Twisting your arm, huh, Sally? Sorry. <laughs> um, Okay, so these are all the items you can get for free with a $50 order right now. Use that host code, your name's gonna go in the drawing to win that Peaceful Moments stamp set. Um, if you bump your order up to $50, you're gonna get the free embellishment or the PDF tutorial, and you're gonna get one of these awesome celebration items. So you can choose from the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set, super cute, love the stamp set. Um, we're actually playing with this at the stamp studio, making a card today, and it is so cute. I love it. Okay, so actually, and I think, yeah, we used it on one of the projects today too. <laughs> Thank you, Philomena, I'm glad. Thank you, I appreciate you saying that. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna just go through them anyway, just so I make sure everybody knows. You can get the Sending You Thoughts stamp set for free with a $50 order during celebration, right? Awesome, great sentiments in that stamp set too. The super cute, everybody needs these meerkats, right? The gang's all mirror stamp set instead of here the gang's all mirror meerkats right stamp set Ooh, you can get the kerchief card kit which i think it was even on back order for a hot minute but i just think i ordered one the other day so awesome kit of cards i have the already made cards down at the studio but they're really beautiful and simple and easy to make anybody you know that's just like a quick whip them together kind of project and then you'll have some extra parts and pieces you can use for other things then we have the lily impressions designer series paper free with a 50 dollars order I am not gonna open this because this is like a combination of a few packs of paper, um, but it's beautiful. The paper is gorgeous. Also free with a $50 order during celebration. <laughs> I know, Cheryl, and I wish you lived closer too. Maybe in the summer, like, like right now you wouldn't wanna travel, but maybe in the summer you can come down and visit sometime. That would be awesome. And Diana, if I didn't say hi, I saw your name on there. Hello, hello. I'm glad you can join us as well. So we have the awesome Happy Birthday to You stamp set. Another free item you can get with a $50 order during celebration. A um, couple more things, you guys. Denise, hello, hello. We'll see you at the stamp studio soon for class, Miss Denise. The lovely lily pad stamp set, super fun. I love so many of these. I'm like, I've played with a little bit and I just want to play with them some more. Free with a $50 order. And then the Golden Honey Designer Series Paper. This one I'm pretty sure is on back order. I believe you can still order it and they'll just ship it to you when it comes in. It just might not come with your order, but this is awesome. The, the golden honey, I keep wanting to call it honey bee, but it's a golden honey designer series paper. So those are all the things you can get for free with a $50 order during celebration, right? Then if you bump your order up to $100, you can get that super cute little, where, where can you see that? There we go, small bloom punch that coordinates with that thoughtful bloom stamp set. You can get the lily pad dies, which you can't even see them, but basically it cuts out all of the images in the lily pad stamp set. These actually, I should back up. These two items are free with a $100 order. Rosemary, good morning. I hope you're feeling better. Um, you said you're super contagious though, because I was gonna say, if you're feeling better, come to the studio. But if you're super contagious, please don't come to the studio. I, we'll miss you at class today, but we don't want whatever you have. We're sure we don't want that. Um, okay, so did I say that? Free with a $100 order, the punch and the lily pad dies. And then this little combo pack, the Power of Hope stamp set. And I have not even played with this one yet. So you've got um, sentiments, good luck. Today is a day for new beginnings and hope is the power that makes all things possible. And then some very cool kind of, um, I would say Asian inspired um, stamps in there as well. And then it comes also, like I said, this is a combo. So free with a hundred dollar order, Power of Hope stamp set. And then this awesome embossing folder called the Stone 3D embossing folder. You can get both of those with your hundred dollar order. So that's the review of what is available during celebration now through March 31st. Nothing has sold out yet. Like I said, 
the golden honey designer series paper is on back order so that would be my first thought of something that could sell out and not be available any longer so this paper right here i would suggest getting your order in spend your 50 bucks get this on order at least so you can get it when it comes in um, when it's off of back order and then i like i said that kerchief card kit is the other one that i know went on back order for a little bit so if you really want this put your 50 dollar order in and get this as well while you can you know you just don't want to miss out if it's something that you really want don't wait any longer um, get those things while you can and then there are some new items that are going to be coming out that are available i think they're not even available till like the very beginning of march to customers though as demonstrators we can um, order them right now so i'm working on those and we'll be able to um, have those and show you those in the next little bit but in the meantime you still have the rest of february to get any of these items free with a 50 or a 100 dollar order so check those out if you just joined me rewind a little bit and take a quick peek at those okay you're feeling much better than yesterday but not the best quarantine <laughs> yeah so you don't get anybody else in the house sick too that's a good idea there's a little see more button i'm gonna have to read the rest of your comment later miss rosemary because it, it won't let it's not showing up on my screen right now so okay <clears throat> sorry i got a little tickle in my throat i gotta make sure i think i showed you guys all of that stuff all right i think are we good? Are we good? What else do I have to tell you guys about? Oh, actually, something else to think about. You know how I've been talking about the club member drive? I've had some more questions about that. Any of those items that I just showed you that you get free with a $50 order, if you join the Simple Beautiful Card Club or the Scrapbook Club, so those are local clubs you need to kind of be in the area so you can come to class, either of those, you can pick a free celebration item. Or my online customers, if you sign up for the Class to Go Club, which basically just means you want to get either option number one or option number two each month in my Class to Go kits, you get a free celebration item. Also, any of the $50 items so that is an awesome little perk for joining a club anytime between now and march 31st you get a free celebration item just for joining a club so let me know if you have any questions on that too because like i said i've been having some questions and i want to make sure you guys are all so sweet telling rosemary to feel better that's oh that's awesome <laughs> very very sweet um okay so i think oh one more quick mention uh, actually, a couple quick mentions of things, just so I make sure. I mentioned last week the celebration celebration. I had some questions on that as well. So just want to make sure that you understand there are three different ways you can earn your spot at celebration celebration. Number one, the easiest way and best way, really, um, do you just sell your PDFs? Nikki, so for the class to go kids, I do sell those PDFs. They're $15. For, so right now it's the So Sentimental class to go and I'm gonna show you those cards in just a sec. Yeah, I always sell those PDFs. They are all available. So every PDF that I've done for the past couple of years at least is on my blog at Gathering Inspiration Inc with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. You can click, I think, it, you know, up at the top, there's one button that says like, or one tab, it says PDF store. And all I did was, cause I, I don't, I'm not sophisticated enough yet to get the, links right on there to buy those things but i've got all the like the videos of all of the um, pdf tutorials that i've done or class to goes that i've done classes to go is maybe the way you say that anyway you can click on any of those check out the cards if it's something that you want just email me um, and i can send you a quick paypal invoice for any of those pdf tutorials so yeah i sell all my pdf tutorials and they're all available everything you know i keep them all so i've got years of them so if you have like an old stamp set um you know something that you want to play with and you see it's a pdf tutorial you can always grab that so yeah um okay and hopefully that answered your question let me know okay um okay so back to celebration celebration the three ways you can earn your spot you buy the starter kit through me you spend at least 200 dollars through me between january 1st and march 31st or you host a private celebration party or class with sales of at least $300. That helps you get that little ladybug stamp set. And then you get awesome host rewards as well. So those are the three ways you earn your spot in celebration celebration. And say, for example, if you're long distance and you buy the starter kit through me, you um, can still get all of the benefits of celebration celebration. I'll give you everything that I actually physically give to everybody at the stamp studio at that event. I'll mail it to, to you as well. 
okay? So, sorry, I got distracted. I just see that the kids, they're just popping in. I think they're gonna grab their Valentine treats and their dog, and then they're heading over to their dad's house. So um, there might be a little bit of commotion here because like I said, I just saw the car pull in the driveway. I, I actually thought they were here quite a bit earlier. Um, oh, when will it be? So Sherilyn, I feel like everything revolves around basketball right now, but I'm kind of waiting um, to find out. Kate has typically played on like a travel basketball team and then they have um, tournaments that they play in. It's not every single weekend like in April and May, but a lot of the weekends. I try to do it on a Saturday so people that are further away can still come down if they want to. Um, but it'll, it'll either, so long answer to your question, it'll be either in April or May, and I just don't know when quite yet. Um, but as soon as I have that information, which won't be for a little while longer, honestly, um, I will let everybody know. So, But don't let that stop you from trying to qualify, because I promise if you can't come, I send everybody everything anyway too. So hey Debbie, thank you for joining us and thank you for sharing. Hello. Stormy, you don't even hear them yet, do you? There was just, I think the little door opened. Anyway, they're trying to be super quiet. They're probably not even gonna like, hold on. They probably like snuck in. Are you here? Hi. Is Lily with you? I am, you wanna come say hi? <laughs> he doesn't wanna come say hi, guys. But he's gonna anyway, right, Kate? <laughs> Well, we'll see. Hopefully May. Okay. Yeah. I think actually last time I did it like mid-May, to be honest, which I usually try to do it in April, but it just didn't work yeah. out that way. So, all right. Bye, bud. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Love you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Bye, you too. That's like, yeah, that's all you get from a 17-year-old boy. Bye, you too. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'm like teasing, making fun of him. Um, okay. What else? What else? What else? I think... Oh, I know. One other thing I wanted to mention, and I just posted this week, but it's already been like, we have had so much fun seeing all of the projects. So I announced, sorry, I just get too excited. All of, um, rewind, right? I announced this week a contest. If you post a picture of any project that you've made with either any of the new spring mini catalog stuff or any of the celebration stuff, any of those products, post it on our Facebook group right here, and your name is gonna go in a drawing that I'm gonna do on our next Facebook Live on February 28th. I'm gonna give away an awesome product to one person that posted, um, and you can post all, like for the next couple of weeks, as many projects as you post, your name will go in the drawing. I think it's a great way, because you know, you're at home making these cute things, and like, you know, maybe people don't get to see them, right? So post them on our Facebook group. People love to see what other people are doing. Plus it's a great way to inspire somebody. Maybe they have some of that product and they're just not sure what to do with it yet. So post your picture on there. Maybe it'll inspire somebody to make something fun like you did um, on your project, okay? So yeah, awesome. We'll be, um, let's see, what did I say? Post by Thursday, February 27th, because I'll get all the names in the drawing by then and then um, we'll draw on Friday the 28th. Okay. All right. Um, one last quick thing. So our uh, product of the week this week is truly, this was like the very first, e even more than the stamp set, it was the dies that I saw. I love, so the So Sentimental stamp set, you guys can see that one. It's an awesome stamp set. I love because it the versatility is, is what I always love about these stamp sets because we've got a number of different sentiments on there. It's not just all birthday or all thank you. You got a little bit of everything there. But the dies, these were the ones, the stitched so sweetly dies. Maybe I'll turn it sideways so you guys can see. So when I saw these, this this was like the thing that I was like, OMG, I have to have these dies. Because I love how you can layer with the rectangles and they've got the cute little stitching and the scallop edge around them. And then all of the different kind of labely dies there also that have stitching. Um, I guess, yeah, those don't have scallop edge, but they've got like really cool, like, um, you know, patterns, I guess, or whatever you want to call it, right? So, all right, I think they took the dog with them. They were really pretty quiet. I thought, uh, yeah, now I'm like, Stormy, are you here? But I think he's gone. Anyway, they were worried about him being home here all afternoon when they were at their dad's house and I'm at the studio for class. So anyway, the all, everybody goes back and forth a lot basically is what happens around here. So, okay. Um, so yeah, I was talking about this stuff. So um, <clears throat> that I love, right? I love the stamp set. I love the dies. I love my class to go 
If you guys have not signed up yet, make sure to do that because I won't be around to remind you next Friday is the last day to sign up for this So Sentimental class to go. So you are going to make two of each of these projects. So I'm just going to show you. So, and this is Nikki, for example, the PDF tutorial. You could make two of that card. You could make two of this card. This is a fun one I always have to show because I like how, so there's this card right here. And it pops open like that, isn't that fun? Like a different fold, right? And then we've got this one right here. So I used um, all different stamp or um, sentiments on there, right? So you can get the PDF tutorial, that's always $15. It's always available even after the RSVP deadline of next Friday. I've got a couple of different options to get the stamp set and the dies and the bundle or just get the product. Anyway, it's all on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. I've been emailing about it. If you need info on it, let me know. I'm happy to send you the link, but I'd love to get you guys signed up because I love, like look at, so here's an example with those dies, right? You've got the, um, I love like those little rectangles and then with the, um, what are those little scallops? I just think it's so pretty. I love the layering of all those dies. So I had lots and lots of fun and I can't wait for you guys to have fun too. <laughs> yes, you'll have to get this. I agree, Rosemary. If you would like a to-go kit, just let me know. I'd love to get one to you. I know you and your mom like to do those sometimes, so. Um, okay, so we are, here I'm like looking, I think we've, we've talked about everything, right? Oh, one more actually quick reminder, <clears throat> the spring crafting weekend. So I had extended it. Today is the last day if you sign up for the spring crafting weekend on March 13th through March 15th. Um, yeah, Diana, you love that set too. Um, if you sign up by today, for the spring crafting weekend, March 13th through the 15th, you get an extra free prize from me in your goodie bag, okay? Um, I have details. Um, all the information that you need is on my blog. If you have any questions, again, let me know. So today is the last day to get the free gift. And then, what do my notes say? Um, final RSVPs are due next Friday also, which is February 21st, okay? So again, since I won't be here for Facebook Live next Friday, I wanna make sure everybody knows about these deadlines coming up. So, so sentimental class to go. Next Friday is the last day and the spring crafting weekend on March 13th through the 15th. Next Friday, the 21st is the last day to sign up for that as well, okay? All right, I think we are good. Yeah, I'm looking around. All right, I feel like, I feel like we covered it. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, let's see. Let's grab these things i'm going to get those ready oh look at the glare already okay turn your heads away for a sec and we are gonna move the camera so we can do our stamping okay bear with me just a sec flip oh yeah look at that glare mm -hmm. Ooh, all right here we go, table. We're gonna go for our ride. <clears throat> I'm gonna be like up against the wall before I lose the glare. Okay, I think we're good for now. I'll have to go fast so that um, I don't have another problem. This is the host code that you're gonna wanna use um, this week, or actually basically this whole month, the 7YR4N2JQ to get your name in the drawing and get all the, the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate now, okay? All right, so let's see which one, I guess I was gonna show you guys this one first. Hold on, I moved my big shot. It's way away from me now. I've got to get that closer because we do definitely have to do some die cutting here, don't we? Okay, so this first card we actually made a few weeks ago at Bingo, and I kind of had it held aside because I loved. So here's another great example of that layering with those dies. Can you see the stitching? Um, and then the sentiment is awesome too, right? Your friendship is a blessing. Plus I love that ribbon. And the paper too. This is part of the Dressed to Impress designer series paper. So this is that paper that I keep saying, it's like lipstick and purses and shoes and perfume bottles on one side of the paper. And the other side is this beautiful floral. I love, this was my favorite I think I've used all of this paper in like two or three packs of it already. And then we use the Thoughtful Bloom stamp set here also. So let me show you how we're gonna make this card. Simple, you guys know me, I love my simple stamping, um, but it's beautiful too. So I think it works. 
Let's see, let's see, make sure I have everything here. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we are gonna start with, let's see, we'll scoot that up just a little bit so you guys can still see it, right? We have a piece of, and it's so fun, I love this granny apple green cardstock, okay? Eight and a half by 11 inches, right? Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? For, as always, our nice crisp fold on our card. And then we have, and I did, so I, I was trying to remember, I couldn't, couldn't remember, but I did stamp on the inside too, right? Okay, so we actually have two pieces of Whisper White cardstock, one for the inside and one for the outside of the card that measure four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? Then, let's see, these are just scrap pieces. The, this is Whisper White and Lovely Lipstick cardstock. And then here is our Dress to Impress Designer Series paper. There, you can see makeup. Makeup and makeup brushes on the other side. It's cute, too. You could have some fun with that, right? Um, let's see. This piece measures two inches by five inches. Okay? So let's do our stamping. Did I? I was trying, so I can see that I'm going to, like, stamp off the edge a little bit, and I... Huh. Well, I don't know where it is. I like to have that extra little scrap piece of paper, but it is clear than not here. So I guess I'm just gonna have to stamp on the edge of my, um, onto my grid paper. Well, I know I brought it, so it's here somewhere. Okay, I'm just being silly now, right? <clears throat> okay, so here we go lovely lipstick ink we are going to stamp these little babies on the top half <laughs> thank you Sherilyn. i'm glad you like that card i think it's pretty awesome too okay so we have our lovely lipstick ink we're going to stamp one there and isn't that cool i love kind of the stripes and we'll do one there and we're going to do one maybe right there okay and i think actually let's do on the inside of our card also so we'll just do a couple of them in the corner there. Oops, not that one. We're gonna use this one for the inside. Okay, so we're gonna do like one there and one there, okay? Now, actually there's one more. Don't we need to stamp with the other color though? Actually, okay, so this was lovely lipstick ink. Thank you for sharing the video, Becky. I appreciate that. Okay, where's my little, so the little leaf. Ooh, I forgot to show you. We're using the Thoughtful Blooms stamp set. So that little stamp right there, and then it's a little flower, and then the little leaf are what we're using to kind of add a little bit of detail and fun. Okay, so this is the outside. Doesn't feel very inked up. Okay, it is good. This is, yeah, Mossy Meadow. All of a sudden I was like, what color is that? Mossy Meadow. Do one there. It has been, you know, it's so dry this time of year that my ink pads, I can see it's, it's almost a little bit dried out already. <clears throat> it's crazy how much I've had to re-ink my ink pads. So we'll just add a little bit there and a little bit there. There, just a little bit of fun. And actually this one I need for my sentiment that is right here. Okay, at first I was like, where did it go? <clears throat> make sure I guess it doesn't matter if it's if I stamp it right side up or upside down because I can always flip it over when I die cut it okay so I'm trying to get a lot of ink without pushing too hard but I know that I guess this could be re-inked I feel like I just did it the other day I don't know do you guys notice that this time of year <clears throat> that with the dry dry weather your ink pads rattle a little bit it's okay. I wouldn't mind it if it was a little bit darker, but that'll be all right. It's a good dark color anyway. Okay, so now we are going to grab our dies. So again, the Stitched So Sweetly dies. Love, 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 love these. So this one, the biggest label, we're going to put on there. And then this one. And what is so cool is how so many of these labels can fit right on these things. So the biggest one fits on a lot of them. This one actually fits on more than you'd think because that's pretty tight, right? And these aren't even quite actual size. And then they've got, so for example, this one, look at the Yumalicious. Okay, did you guys watch the video too? If you haven't yet, <laughs> 
you, a lot of the ladies liked George. So George did a video, he's from Stampin' Up! on this So Sentimental stamp set and these Stitch So Sweetly dies. And he made a Valentine tree. And like I said, George is kind of cute. And so a lot of ladies thought he was pretty yummy. And then he stamped with, yum, I think he said yummy licious. I like yummy licious better. But anyway, <laughs> so scroll back earlier this week i shared the stampin up video on this bundle if you guys haven't seen it yet you gotta watch it and check george out because <laughs> he he is pretty cute uh okay so yeah yummelicious that one fits on there and then sending healing hugs too right so oops as i fling these things around and then there's a the little baby one right how about this one for hello baby and for you so super cute little plus you know, it works great with this stamp set and it's gonna work great with a million other stamp sets that you have that you can fit your sentiments right in there. Okay, so product of the week too, ladies, has been one of my favorites. Okay. All right, so we have our die cutting machine. I've got my magnetic platform, one clear pad on top of the magnetic platform, my paper my die with the ridge, kind of the cutting edge facing down. This one, as long as it's on the cardstock, is fine, right? You just wanna make sure this one is lined up where you want it. That it's kind of centered nicely around your sentiment. Your friendship is a blessing. Truly, any friend, right? Their friendship is a blessing, I would say. So, I'm sure. We all have someone we could send a card like this to right here. Okay, let's just move those. That stuff, sorry, I'm just kind of flinging things out of the way. Okay, let's put our card together. Let me make sure. Got my adhesive. I need a quick sip of water. <clears throat> okay, I think I have it all. Do, do, do. Okay, this one goes on the inside, so we're going to just add this. So we've got our adhesive. We're going to pop this one on the inside of our card. And you could do another sentiment. You could stamp something else inside there. Nikki, are the dies stitched? Yes. Okay, I think you can see it maybe the best on the white. Okay, can you see the stitching? Yep. On all of them too. So on these, what I'm calling the labels, can you see the stitched? Yeah, I think you can see that, right? Yes, yes. So they're all stitched. So on the labels and... We're gonna cut one of these and hopefully you'll be able to see it. But yes, on these rectangles too, can you see the little dashes along there? So these are all stitched and then with that cute little scallop edge too. So yes, they're all stitched. Anything with stitching, oh my gosh, I just have to have it basically. Okay, so now we are gonna add our designer series paper. Sorry, it's almost like this mount is, um, I don't know, I feel like it wiggles more than it used to. So sorry if it's wiggling a little bit. Yes, <laughs> I know, adding to the list. Yes, I hear you, Miss Nikki. Yeah, these are awesome. Like I said, this was the thing that when I first flew through the catalog, I was like, okay, I will have to have those dies. I'm gonna make a cheater bow. Well, it's not even a cheater bow, I'm gonna totally Maybe we'll try it different. Let's see. Because some of the ladies thought that bow was kind of big when I put this on here. We might try another way. Let's see what it looks like. Maybe we'll, we'll do the cheater bow. So I'm just kind of flipping. All you do is cut a strip and tack it on the back. And then we're gonna add a good amount of adhesive here. And I like to kind of Put some adhesive over my ribbon so that that stays on my project, right? I don't want for that whole panel to lift up off of my card. Okay, so there's that. Now we are going to add this piece. Oops, come on, Mr. Snail. There we go. We're going to add this one. And isn't that so pretty how those work you can kind of put one right inside and you can see all the stitching on there right okay <clears throat> sorry i feel like i have that frog in my throat now okay i'm gonna 
put a few dimensionals on here. And this is what I was trying to decide. Maybe we might do this. So if I put that there, so here's the my cheater bow from way back in the day. You put that strip on and then you just basically tie a knot with your ribbon. So let's see, I think we might do this. But I don't like how that, so you gotta flip it a little bit. You gotta make sure you're not, let's see, I know I'm being futzy, but I'm trying to show you a good one. Cause I did a good one. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good right there on another project. Okay, and the fun thing is that you can kind of move this uh, wherever you want it. So just don't pull too tight and then it's got a nice kind of knot on it. So that could go there or we could slide it down. Maybe we'll put it on that end. Do we like that end better? I think we do. There. Okay. So yeah, we'll just peel these little dimensionals off. Oops, not upside down though. That would not be good. And we can put that right there. Okay, your friendship is a blessing. And then last step, because I absolutely love, you guys know this, right? I think I wanna put these little champagne rhinestones like on every project. Plus these flowers, they just literally call out and say, put a rhinestone in the middle of the flower, please. So, okay, so either one, right? We've got this one with the cute bow or that one with the little cheater, cheater bow on it, right? Your friendship is a blessing. So super cute, huh? Right? So if you put an online order in and use the host code, you're going to get this project and then the one we're going to make in just a sec free with your $30 order. Okay. Mm, let's see. We're going to move this. Think. Trying to remember because I stole some. I think I need to take that ribbon and stamps back to the studio because we're using it on a different project today. At class, but okay, I will worry about that after Facebook Live. We will figure that out in a few moments. Okay, so <clears throat> next project. This is a card we are actually making. Thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you enjoyed that project. This is a card we are making today at our Simple Beautiful card class. So isn't this, oh yeah, and here's my cheater bow too. I was like, I knew I just did that. So same type of ribbon too, but this is in Poppy Parade. The other ribbon was Granny Apple Green that we used. On this project right here, we got Granny Apple Green and then the Poppy Parade. Beautiful, I love this ribbon and it ties so nicely. There's my perfect bow too. Love it. Okay, so can you guys see I did stamp on there too with one of the Poppy stamps. And then we've got your I can't thank you enough. And what I realized was this piece I just um, cut, but I wanna try to use the scallop edge rectangle die. We're gonna try that on the card we're gonna make right now and see what that looks like. So we use this Painted Poppies stamp set. We're gonna use that stamp right there on this red piece just to give a little bit of background on there. Okay, um, so let's see, we'll grab these things. We got that, we got our, well, I better put those back in the other one so I don't get myself confused. <clears throat> okay. All right, I think we have everything. So let's do our stamping. We'll do this one first, right? So with, we're just gonna stamp this kind of all over because you just wanna see a little bit of the detail. Oops, maybe if I move that up there and maybe one there and one there, right? Okay, so we've got that just kind of stamped on the background. Yes, the poppy paper is beautiful, isn't it? It's so, yeah, it's awesome, Becky, I agree. Okay, so now we have our, uh, I can't thank you enough, another, Awesome sentiment from the So Sentimental bundle. Okay, so as always, nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. I think we're gonna do that right there like that. Okay, good stuff. So, was that it? I don't think I did. Nope, I didn't put anything on the inside, so I don't have to worry about that. All right, I think we have our stamping done then. So let me stick those out of the way. Now we are gonna do our die cutting. So this was the actual piece of Poppy Parade designer series paper. Hey, you're back. 
Okay, good, Susie. I'm glad you got everybody all safely to where they needed to go after school today. So this is just kind of a little wash background piece on the back side of that puppy parade. We're actually going to use a bigger piece because, let me show you, I want to use my rectangle stitch dies, and I think I think that one was too big. I think I wanted to use the second largest. So we're gonna see what this looks like. We're gonna cut that out and try to layer that on. And if we don't like it, we can just use this piece that I um, <clears throat> cut originally. So, but I wanted you guys to see, cause I realized I was like, oh, I didn't use any of the rectangles and I love the rectangles. Like I used them a bunch on my class to go. I just didn't use them on these two projects. Because sometimes, you know, you just have moments where you don't realize what you're doing or not doing. Okay, so that one can just go right there like that. And then this one, we are going to just kind of make sure. You see how it fits so nicely around there, right? Miss Roseanne, hello, hello. How are you, lady? It's good to have you joining us today. All right, let's see. So we're gonna pop that one out again. You can see, I love, right? I, I'm gonna use that die a lot too, for sure. Okay, so now this one is gonna be a little bit harder to see with the stitching, but can you kind of get the, do you see the scallop edge? Isn't it so pretty? And if I get super close, I think you can kind of see the stitching, but I love, right? You kind of see that? Isn't that cool? I love those dies. Ladies, you're going to need them if you don't have them yet. All right. Make sure you use that host code too if you do order them, okay? Option number one gives you those dies and the stamp set right in there. And then you get cute projects you can make too. Ooh, low network connection. Okay, now it's back. All right. Good. Okay, so my adhesive I think is what I need now. Let me give you measurements. Okay, so this time we have, this is an old olive. I made it a tall card. So this time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches, right? And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. Old olive card base, okay? <laughs> you love it too, huh? I hear you, Miss Diana, okay. Sorry, getting distracted. Now we have a piece of basic black cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then this is more of the painted poppies. And I love, I was almost like, <gasps> I mean, I love the stripes because it works on this card, but I was like, oh no, I'm covering up that beautiful paper. So I'll have to get more and use the other side. This one measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighths inch. And that's just gonna layer right on there. Then our, this is Poppy Parade cardstock that measures two and one eighth by five and one eighth. And then this piece, if you just wanted to cut it, um, if you didn't use your dies, originally I had it, let's see, at two and a half by three and a half. And this one's gonna be a little bit different. You can see it's maybe a little bit taller and maybe not quite as wide. So this one was just cut with that second largest scallop edge rectangle die. Okay, oh, and then you've got a piece of Whisper White too. Let's see. This one measures three and a half by four and one quarter. And let's see, Diana's saying, hey, where did you get the stamp for the back of your cards? Oh, um, okay, so Diana, way back in the day, um, stamping up. Yeah, you can barely see it on here. I didn't stamp it super well. But we had like personalized stamps that we could order. So this is a stamp from Stampin' Up that they used to make way back in the day. I'm trying to think of where people... Um, so the main thing is like if you want to sell your cards, and again, it's very faint, but you've got the little C copyright stamping up. That's the main thing that you need to use. And I know that there are, um, there's at least one if not two stamp sets in the annual catalog that fulfill what they call the angel policy. Um, Cause you can even just like write your name. You could just write, um, you know, Diana or something. And then as long as you have that little copyright and stampin' up, you can sell your cards once you have that stamp on there. Um, but the actual personalized stamps, you might just have to Google. Um, you might even put it out there on our, on our Facebook group, the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group, other people might have ideas. I'm blanking out right now. If I think of anything, I'll send you a message. Um, but unfortunately, the one that I have is one that I got from Stampin' Up quite a few years ago. So I just try to be careful with it now <laughs> so that I don't uh, 
<clears throat> you know, so it lasts a good long while, basically. Okay, so we're gonna add our designer series paper and just have the little bit of black kind of popping out from the back. And this one, you do have to be a little bit careful. Miss Kathy, hello. How are you? I'm glad you can join us. Okay, so now this one, I'm actually gonna do like this. I'm gonna put my adhesive. Um, let's see, we're gonna layer this on here. I don't actually wanna put it on yet because I need to put the ribbon around it. So this is a little bit funny. I don't normally layer things quite like this. Um, but let's see, so we're gonna layer that so that it's all gonna kinda line up. Okay, that looks good, I think, right? <laughs> oh, oh yes, Philomena saying Crafting Forever has the copyright stamp. Thank you. I knew there was one, and I feel like there might even be another one in there too. But yeah, if you want the copyright for um, selling your cards, that's what you would need to use that we have available right now, Diana. But if you just want a cute personalized stamp, like I said, post on our Facebook group, and maybe other people will have ideas of where you can get that too. Okay, so we're just gonna layer that right on there. Um, let's see, Nancy is saying one stamp set you can use is Make a Difference. Yes, that one has the little copyright stamping up on it also. I knew there was one more. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now we're gonna do another cheater bow. So this is why I had to not put this on yet because I need to wrap this around here first and then tack it on. I guess you could have put the ribbon all the way around like this piece too, but I don't know why. I didn't want to do that. Okay, so we've got that one right there. Now I'm going to add a bunch of adhesive on here, and I'm going to go over my ribbon. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of adhesive on this thing, so it definitely does not come off. Okay, so we don't need that little guy. Okay, so we're going to layer all of this right on there maybe oh that is totally crooked i think it moved after i put it down because it wasn't crooked when i first did that right okay i think we're good there all right <laughs> i agree diana i love how everyone helps too <laughs> it's so cute yeah because sometimes you guys are like i think running to your catalog to look up stuff as we're doing the live and sharing the information i think that is so awesome I love that, that you guys are all so helpful with each other. Okay, so there we go. We've kind of, I've been like chatting as I've been putting this one together, but I love this layout too. So I have to tell you, um, another demonstrator, I love so many of her projects, Anne-Marie Heil posted a card. It was, so it used, it, it wasn't a Valentine's card. It might have even used that same stamp set. Um, but it was all the Valentine, the From My Heart designer series paper, but it was this layout and I loved the layout so much. And I thought, okay, I don't need to do another Valentine's card. Um, although I probably could have since it's Valentine's Day, right? Let's see, we're gonna put that maybe right there. Um, anyway, so I have to give credit to her because I loved that layout and I basically just adapted it with all of these products instead. Okay, so another cheater bow. Let's see, why does that not feel? All right, I think I can do it. Something feels funny about <laughs> where the ribbon is. You know, it just happens like that sometimes. Okay. So just don't pull too hard, and then you get that nice knot. That's what it is. I like a, a pretty knot, not a squinched up knot. And if you don't get it right the first time, you saw how I just, like, started over. Sometimes that happens. Okay, there's that. And then we have to add some more champagne rhinestones. And these I just kind of sprinkled. I like to do that, just kind of sprinkle them on the card so they're just a little bit random so i'm just putting a few of them just adds a little bit of sparkle and there we go so ladies i hope you enjoyed these projects i had so much fun like i said with this as our product of the week this week you can see look at the great sentiments so I could only use a couple of them, right? But we've got the I Can't Thank You Enough is on there. And Your Friendship is a Blessing. Yumalicious. We got to love that one, right? Sending Healing Hugs. This Calls for Confetti. And Wishing You Much Happiness Today and Always. And then you have the really cute little ones, the To and From, Hello Baby, and For You. And then with some little sprinkles and things. So great stamp set. Great set of dies. These are the ones we did not use. And then all the others that we did use. And how about that? I think I really do like... That's, can you guys see a little bit of a difference there? That scallop 
edge versus the straight edge. I think that's very pretty on there too. So, okay, I would love for you guys to order through me. I truly appreciate every single order that I get. It helps me uh, kind of keep going with Facebook Live. So if you are ready to put an order in, make sure you use the host code, the 7YR4N2JQ. You will get these projects, one of each of them that I demonstrated, if you put an online order of at least $30 and use the host code. Your name goes in the drawing to win the Peaceful Moments stamp set to on our next Facebook Live. And if you bump your order up to $50, my stuff is way over there, you're either gonna get the PDF tutorial or the um, Petal Pink Metallic Edge Ribbon plus a celebration item right now too. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I will be posting everything on my blog, responding to comments and all that, but it's gonna have to be at this point because this afternoon is crazy. So I've got class this afternoon and then we go to the basketball game away out of town. I won't be back until tonight. So I'm gonna get caught up tomorrow, okay? So bear with me just a little bit. If you're looking for any of the items that we used on these cards, um, I gave the names of everything so you can always um, look them up on stampinup.com or just have patience with me. I'll get everything uploaded tomorrow and I'll give you item codes for everything we used on these projects tomorrow on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so you guys have a great weekend. I hope you all have a wonderful, happy Valentine's Day. And we will see you back here in two weeks from today on February 28th. So have a good rest of February. Okay, we'll be getting that much closer to spring and summer then, right? Okay, bye everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.